This is the story of beautiful Medusa. Medusa was a beautiful young woman with magnificent long silky hair. Men lined up to be with her. One day while she was in Athena's temple she fooled around with Poseidon, Neptune, which of course angered Athena. Athena was so mad that she changed Medusa's beautiful hair into hissing serpents and made her into a horrible looking gorgon. She was so horrible that any living thing that looked upon her would turn to stone. Hi everyone, this is Iris and today I'm going to be showing you how to do this beautiful look which is brought to you by BH Cosmetics. I'm using the 120 color palette and here are the colors. As you can see, they're very beautiful and vibrant. I'm also using this 10 colors blush palette and it does come with all these wonderful colors as well as the lip gloss palette. So let's go ahead and get started with the hair. The first thing that I did is I sectioned the areas where I want my braids to fall. In my case I wanted one braid right at the very top and in the middle because this is the one that's going to curve onto the front and the side of my face. Then I went ahead and braided it. You can braid your hair um, any thickness that you want and depending on how thick it is is how thick your snakes are going to turn out. You can do as many braids as you want. If you want to only do them on top and curl the rest of your hair that's fine. You can do all of your hair if you'd like. I'm using stem wire because it is very pliable and easy to work with as far as bending it only with your fingers. However, if this does hurt your fingers, you can keep pliers handy and use them to bend or cut the wire. To shorten the wire, you can also wrap it tighter and closer to each other. So when you get to the edge, you're just going to leave a little point sticking out because you're going to take some wire edged ribbon, which is really good for wrapping around your hair and you're going to cover all of the visible hair by overlapping the ribbon. And when you get a little bit closer to the edge, you're going to pierce the ribbon with the end of the wire and then you're going to bend the wire to hold this in place. As you can see right there. Once you have that in, then you can go ahead and bend to style as desired, also known as sculpting your hair and you can use bobby pins to hold your snakes in the position that you want them to be. This is where you're going to take a lot of the time and be creative with the style. Remember you can add tiny pieces of red ribbon for the tongue. Um, you can add rattles for the rattlesnakes. This is a time to get creative. You can use any color, gold, silver, green. You can use beads or snake print fabric to wrap around your hair. Don't limit yourself to what you see here in the video. Now we're going to work on Medusa's makeup and I am using an eyeshadow primer all over my eyelid. I'm applying white eyeshadow from my eyelids all the way up to my brow bone. Then I'm taking the brightest yellow and I'm filling in my eyeball area. Then I'm going to take a little bit of liquid and dip this flat brush into the darkest green and I'm going to outline my eyeball. And I'm just going to follow through and when I get to the very corner, I'm going to lift and wing this up toward the point of my, the end of my brow. And I'm going to follow through with the second line. And then I'm going to go ahead and start filling it in with little swipes. And this is just going to give the effect of a blending sort of color. And then I'm going to take a thinner brush and I'm going to dip it into a lighter green. And I'm going to start mixing it with the darker green and this is just going to give another uh, step to looking like it is a blended color. And I'm just continuing to blend these two colors together and I took a little bit of the dark green and I'm blending the darker green with the white and then I'm adding some white right in the center just to give the effect of an open eyeball then I am lining my lash line because I'm going to be applying false lashes afterward. And then right um, on the other side, I'm going to go ahead and line my, my other eye just to make it even. 
what I started to do here is I started to test what the eye would look like. Um, make sure you do look at some pictures of snake eyes or reptile eyes to get an idea of how to do it. But then I didn't complete that step. I started working on the top lashes at the very um, top of my eyeball. And these will also look pretty when your eyes are open. So they kind of serve two purposes. As you can see there, I started to make the eye um, a little bit longer to meet with the top lashes. And remember, it starts off thin, it's thick in the middle, and then it goes out thin at the bottom. Then I'm outlining the entire makeup with liquid liner, making sure to do both eyes. You can make this liner as thick or as thin as you'd like. And if you're a makeup artist, you can add more blending. I'm using this really bright pink, which is from the blush palette. And it kind of has a little bit of a gold color to it as well. Then I'm using this gold lip gloss and I'm applying it to my lips. Next thing I did is I, after I finished applying it, I added my favorite lip liner just to kind of finish off the look. This is optional. If you don't do snakes all over your hair, you can also add curls. If you want more information on the curling iron that I'm using, go to the information box in the link. And then I'm teasing my hair, adding a little bit of hairspray for lift and volume. And once I'm pretty satisfied with it, I can adjust my snakes and you're pretty much done. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you decide to wear this for Halloween, please be sure to visit my Facebook page and post some pictures. And as always, if you like this video, please click on like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I hope you've been inspired. Thanks for watching.